Hello everyone, it's Noelle, back with our 17th out of 100 original characters. Today's character is male, done in colored pencils with warm fair skin and brown hair, and freckles just for fun. In my most recent vlog, you can listen to me rant and rave about my process with the most recent batch of OCs, including Jean. I touched lightly on how I was hesitant to do Jean because his medium was colored pencils, but because I had a really positive experience with him, I decided from now on, I'll include more characters done in colored pencils during my OC journey. When designing Jean, I had two characters pop into my head, Lupin the Third and Maze Hughes from the Full Metal Alchemist series. Maybe it's the sideburns. In an older video, I'm sure I've talked about how colored pencils, along with crayons of course, were the first coloring tools I used growing up before I switched to watercolor pencils. A few years ago, I started learning advanced techniques using colored pencils, albeit I'm still pretty useless with them and don't have very good quality ones, but I make do with what I have. Long story short, I enjoy going back to my roots using colored pencils and I find that using them still gives me joy. I kind of want to invest in some nicer colored pencils, but I'll play around with my Crayola and Rose Arts for just a little bit longer. Now I can't tell if that speech on colored pencils was a personal story or what, but just in case, here's one. This one may be a little spoilery if you haven't seen the Netflix movie Flavors of Youth. It's not a major spoiler like a plot point or anything, but if you don't want to take any chances, I would say mute the video now until the time I have listed in the description below. Ready? So like I mentioned, I was reminded of this memory by watching Flavors of Youth, particularly the last story in that movie. I'm not going to get into much detail about it because, spoilers, but in this particular story, two of the main characters share a tape with each other and record their thoughts, feelings, and questions on it. Now if you're young, and you don't know what a tape is, well, I guess you'll have to Google it. This was the exact same thing my friends and I would do in middle school, around 7th and 8th grade. We passed around a tape, would crack jokes on it, sing some karaoke, tell stories, then the next day we would give it to the next person who would also do the same thing. I actually still do have my tape up in my room somewhere, and maybe perhaps I'll dig it up for a vlog if it even still plays. Jean is now complete, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more art-related content, I would totally appreciate if you would subscribe, and remember to draw what you love, and love what you draw.